Cutting Up Pod. Welcome to the Cutting Up Podcast. I'm Will. Big B. And I'm Mark. How y'all been, man? How y'all been, man? Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, man. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know how that goes, man. Did y'all eat good? Yeah, ate pretty good, man. It was where you at? Listen, man. Listen, man. I plan to come, but shit, okay, they don't know. Marcus invited us, you know what I'm saying, for Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? He did the, the black thing, you know, black communities come together and shit. But I planned to come, man, but we ended up having, and I didn't know, we ended up having Thanksgiving at my house. So I had to go run around to the stove and do all the, because I don't cook, yeah. but I had to go do, do you know how to cook? man stuff. Nah, hell no. Nah. Really? But yeah, I can cook breakfast. You know what I'm saying? I can make some breakfast. I can make some French toast, some waffles and some shit. Nah, that's not, that's not cooking. That's not cooking, You gotta put bro. something on the grill. I mean, yeah, I can burn some shit. <laughs> Y'all can't burn nothing. Nah. What does that mean? I stay. I wasn't cooking. That's all. When it comes to Thanksgiving, yeah. we don't eat a lot like that. that yeah, like, Uno flip. Y'all never heard shit. of Uno flip? I never heard of that. Nah, it's the shit though. Oh, it's, well, I ain't even gonna. Uno got. I just gotta get it. Yeah, Uno got that. Uno flip got two sides. Yeah, one. And you can use either side. Regular universe is a regular universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't get Yeah, so you use the regular side. Yeah. yeah, that's the best way to play Uno. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me ask y'all this then. Do y'all stack? Is stacking legal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it was stacking. That shit was crazy. Okay, so y'all stack. Now, here, Man, can you do draw two, draw four? Ones, two, oh, the way they was doing no. it. Oh, no. See, hold on. <laughs> well, no, I don't mean the I'm rules of that game. I mean how y'all play normally. How, how play. y'all play. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's not the normal way? No, that's why I said. That's why. I told you, bro. That's why I Uno came out themselves and said that is illegal. That's what it's But illegal. that's how we've yeah. always played. Uno draw two or draw four. You or stack. Yeah, yeah. Stacking, yeah. period. You're not supposed to be able to stack, period. But that's why I say in this house. That's why I said in my house. Right, but with black people still play that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I try playing Uno regular. I don't do the draw two, draw four, though. I mean, I was like, hell no, you ain't playing that way. So, you know what I mean? That's blue shit. I don't do the draw two, draw four, though. Nah, nah. I do. You can do a draw four, draw four, draw four. Four to eternity. Nah. You can do a draw two, draw two, but we not doing a. I threw a draw two and then you oh, throw no, a draw no, four. No, I don't play that. Nah, in my house, we get spit. Any stacking? Yeah, yeah, they do any stacking. Dang. House so rules. Uno, I guess. Look, you got draw one, draw two, and draw five, and you got one that got. Nah, that's cheap. I'm not playing, <laughs> <it>. man. <laughs> Yo, that shit is ridiculous. Because if you hit me with two draw fives, bro, oh, you can get hit with like five of them. So that's like reneging. So how I like to do it though. I don't like to put two draw fives down. I like to put one down. And then just in case it come back to you. I got another. Yeah, I got one in the chamber. You like to keep a round in the chamber. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's I understand. Like. That's a safe way to live. Yeah. <laughs> just in case they think it's a game. I ain't never play. I don't play the radio. Yeah, I ain't oh, no way no way no <laughs> yeah. Don't come back around that corner playing with me. Yeah. I understand. Yo, so what's up with you, man? What you want on? No, you went out of town before Thanksgiving, right? What's up? Yeah, I did, man. And I, 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 I went out of town, had a good time, man, dealing with some real live racism. Not like up front, like, <laughs> right, right, right. And you can't, it's not like, it's like that up front in your face. You can't deny this racism to the point where a white woman who was trying to argue that it wasn't racism eventually had to crumble and be like, this is racism. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, there's nothing I could do about it. Break it down, though. So um, we was in a cabin. It was a it was a weekend event thing, and uh, they rented a well. It wasn't a cabin. It was like an Airbnb, whatever. In this uh, near Durham, I can't remember the name of the city. But um, long story short, Friday goes off with a hitch. I mean, cool, but it's four houses on a road that's not uh, named. It's not like a street. It's like a dirt road for these four houses. So when it happens, I guess what they explain to us: the owners of those homes own that road. They get to decide, like, you know what I mean? Whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, Friday go cool. Saturday, we driving down there to the party, to the house we just left yesterday doing the thing. And Saturday's like the big party, so more people are coming. We driving down on this, it's a dirt road. There's no lights. It's dark. You can't see nothing. We riding, and we see a tree, tree branch in the road. But not like a tree branch you can just come over. Like, somebody took a tree and put it in the road. We're like, damn, that's weird. So we move it. We drive down a little bit more. And it's like a mile on the road, I guess. You drive down a little bit more, and there's another tree. And I was like, all right, one, weird. Two, you know what I'm saying? This ain't a coincidence. Something's going on, right? 
So we all get out. It's three cars when we went. We all get out. Everybody like, what the hell? So we move to second tree. And then we go to the house. And we tell the people who rent it. It was like, hey, man, y'all know it was two trees in the road. They were like, what the hell are you talking about? I was like, it, it is what it is. So we go, we go, you know, chilling. <laughs> they get a call again from somebody coming down the same road to the party. And they say, hey, man, I had to move three trees to get down here. And I was like, hold on, it was two when we was there. So somebody putting trees in the road, like actively. You know what I'm saying? Or we need to get the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying? One of the two, because there's some horror shit going on. Well, anyway, right. So anyway, right. Anyway, um, a third dude comes, but this dude, or calls, but he sees the dude putting the trees back. Some old white man putting the trees back. Now, I'm not, y'all know me. I'm not going to assume that this old man is racist, right? So anyway, that happens, and uh, we go on with the party. We're like, whatever, old white man, we don't care. Police get called. Police get called, they come and they say, hey, man, we got reports of y'all blocking the road driveway, private driveways, or roadway, whatever you call that. Um, we smell weed, and y'all blasting music, all right? These houses are so far apart, you can't hear music. It's just whatever. So they like, oh, they talking about shutting down the party. Y'all got to go, blah, 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 blah. The cops ain't even tripping. They just like, hey, look, we don't smell weed. We at your doorstep, but we don't smell. The house was big. They was smoking weed. But anyway, we don't smell weed. And uh, y'all music is not that loud. Plus, the next house is forever away. There's no way they could have heard y'all music. But y'all do got to move these cars. That's the only problem we see. But the owners are complaining, and we don't own this road. Like, that's not a public road. Mm -hmm. So we call the Airbnb lady, and she like the owner of the house, and she's like, um, she like, oh no, cops is dead, y'all got it, and, and but we let her speak to the cops, and the cops like, look, we not tripping, same thing. So she was like, oh well, let me call the neighbor, I know his number, and we'll figure it out from there. She called this dude, this dude went in on her, saying, uh, these people, he kept saying these people. Oh, and the whole time before she called him, we was like, hey man, he's just being racist. She was like, I have parties here all the time. They blast music all the time. I don't know what the difference with y'all is. We're like, because we're black. She's like, nah. No we're way. like, nah. That can't be it. We're like, all right. You know what I mean? So, so, so she calls and he's like, y'all got these people. They smoking weed. Um, I hear loud music, blah, blah, blah. She was like, I've had parties all the time. He's like, nah, these people, blah, blah, blah. This different. She, he kept saying these people. To the point where he convinced this white woman on the phone. We weren't there. We didn't hear the conversation. She calls back and tells us, I think he's being racist. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, what? Are you really serious? For real? What we've been telling you? And he's like, yeah. He kept saying these people. And I have parties there all the time. They blast music and all kinds of stuff. I don't understand. So she was like, you know what? And he got nasty with me. Can you believe that? And we were like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy what racists do. So she was like, you know what? Go back and have your party. So we finished the party. But people was worried about roadblocks. And people was like, nah, the police going to be outside. Because you know how black people are. So then the final straw was, now he mad. So we out there. And people was outside smoking. They went further away from the house, too. We outside smoking and whatnot. Just to make sure the cops wasn't outside. We hear a gunshot. Uh-oh. In the woods. Like, towards his house. We don't know where it's coming from, but it sounded like it came from his house. Not like he's shooting in the air or something. Like, mm -hmm. he shot one of his guns in the air. Now, this is why I started to believe. I knew he was racist, but now, like, I know he's racist because he doesn't know you don't do that to black people. Right, right, Like, right. when you're mad at them and they having a party with drugs, you don't shoot in the air. That's, no. Mm -hmm. Right? Black people don't do that to black people. Right. Everybody in that motherfucker grabbed a gun. Like, damn near, everybody had a gun. And I, you know me, I didn't have a gun. I didn't know this many guns were around me. You know what I'm saying? And my, I'm talking about a tech. I'm I'm, listen. And they're like, oh, no, nah, he got me fucked up. I'm like, bro, listen, bro, this is bad. You know what I'm saying? But luckily, nothing else happened. He didn't shoot nothing else. And But it ruined it ruined the party. The yeah, vibe, half the people left. The strippers put their clothes on. Like, it got bad, for real. Like, legit was like, oh, no. Nah, right got cops. Like, yeah, like... like so he he was successful in ruining the party. Damn. Yeah, man. But other than that, North Carolina was straight besides the racism. That's crazy. Oh, shit, straight about that shit. Yeah, nah, not about that. He, he was, that. this man old as hell. It's like 10 o'clock when we showed up, like 10.30, and he dragging trees. You got you know how much hate you got to have? Mm -hmm. to drag I'm tree. too lazy for that. Yeah, yeah. Just drag tree branches <laughs> in the road. And then when somebody moves, <laughs> you watch. I got to put them back. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit crazy, bro. But 
That's America. That's the America we live in. That's so, wild. yeah. That's wild. Yep. That's that's on some um, Jerry Jones type shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my question, because I didn't see the picture. Did any of y'all see the yeah, picture? Yeah, I seen the picture. I didn't. I just been hearing about it. I didn't see the actual picture. Where is this picture? So is he? That's my thing in the picture because I see some people making the argument that we don't know what he's doing. We don't. But okay. you're there. Because so is it a? Okay, tell me. Say otherwise. Is it a? Is it a? Is it a march oh, to, de, to protest? Oh, he did. Yeah. Desegre- no, desegregation he was or? Looking at the black people walking to school like this, like. Like what are they doing here? Yeah. yeah. It's not like he's like. It just looks bad. And, and this is 19... Everybody else around him was like fussing. And he's right there. Just... Oh, he was with the fussers, yeah. though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Guilty by yeah. yeah. I mean, w- like we what be, else you will? Yeah. When we be, members, w- we be? If I'm next to a mother committing arson, yeah. What you think they think I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not there for a picnic. Yeah. I'm not there for. Oh, I just brought marshmallows. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Exactly. <laughs> like I get he it. He said so. His thing was he he was there just trying to see what all the commotion was. About. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. And so yeah. They asked. Because I guess at the time, what, he was like ninth grade, mm-hmm. playing football. And yeah. So he was like, yeah, his coach, you know, was mad at him and asking him what, what he was doing there. And, you know, yeah. So, yeah. So, a question for y'all, though. <clears throat> Do y'all feel like this is at all possible? Do y'all feel like he was raised racist and then stopped being racist? Just by Do you believe people can't stop being racist? Yeah. Do you believe Jerry Jones? No. Stop. <laughs> Because this is his first I, I, I say that because it's for history. him to be able to be at that protest, uh, nine times out of ten he was there protesting. Right. But then Kaepernick. Right. And him telling the players, "You better not kneel you, and whatnot." You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah why not? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, so that's that's what, what what you think? Same with you. Do I think he racist? Yeah. After that picture, that one. Yeah. I mean, listen, listen to the way he talk. It was before. No, 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 no. go ahead. Honestly, it was before the picture, man. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 But I mean, that just, yeah. when you see stuff like that. Oh, you mean before, like, the yeah, oh, before the picture came out? Yeah, oh, okay, okay. You can always you know suspect saying? somebody, but yeah. you don't know. No, not so much that. But cats like Jerry Jones come from that era. All the all the pictures did was just tell you, you know, said this way, give, give young adults, you know what I mean? I would say like my generation or whatever, uh, our generation, Yeah. a picture that we already, of things that we already kind of knew. Yeah. There's one thing about cats from that era or whatever, what's in you, they never lost it. I don't give a damn what nobody say it. So you don't think, that's why, that's now, why I asked that. never lost it. But the thing about it is, he's like a lot of cats that walk around. He knows where his bread and butter is and he knows where he's going to make his money. So you know what? I got these boys in check. You know what I mean? And they work for me. You know what I mean? You're one of my hands. So I'm cool. Yeah, well, yeah I'm you know cool I mean? with these I'm black cool people. I'm cool with them, but... You like, make me some money, I'm cool with you. Well, no, but just, just like your overseas, you know what I mean? Hey, yeah, yeah. You know, they, I mean, they didn't have a problem with some slaves doing what they want to do, but at the same yeah. time, boy, don't ever get your ass out of line. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. You know what I mean? And, and, and Jerry works under that same premise. But, you know, you can be who you're going to be. But don't ever get out of line with me, because you get your ass out of line with me. I'm a oh, yeah, yeah, know yeah. Who yeah. You are. He is. He and is. It's not a surprise. I don't think you know we should be like no, not a surprise. But I do like what uh, LeBron did. Yeah, I yeah, did like that too. Up. I like that too. Like that. Yeah, that was a dope way of uh, pointing out the hypocrisy. The, the obvious. Because yeah. if you let it go by, then they're gonna be like, oh no, nah, we talked about it and we reported on it, and and nah. and that's my thing. And we, to me, I think we criticize. And when I say we, I mean the black community. We over criticize sometimes our athletes because we don't they don't say it the way we think they should say it. Right. Because we're not in that in those shoes. You know what I'm saying? But the way he did it was in a way to where, yeah, I'm pointing something out. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't have to, you know, go too rah, wild. Rah, rah, right. I didn't have to rah, rah, rah. But y'all get it. But they same thing, like we knew about Jerry Jones. They know. Yeah. It's just bad when it's put in your face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's all. Confirms. Yeah, that's all. And then those. Would you stop playing for him? You saying? Who? You. Me? I mean, if you gonna do that, you might as well stop. <laughs> you might as well stop buying uh, phones, watches, clothes, yeah. shoes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. I'm not. Now I got a question for y'all. I, <laughs> I got a question for you, and I asked you this the other day. If you was on the team, 
say you uh you a rookie, you just got signed, your family, you come from not poor, but you know what I'm saying? You taking care of your family. You the breadwinner now. Mm-hmm. And Jerry Jones, Kaepernick shit is going on. And Jerry Jones comes out and says, and you want to kneel because you feel like poli- police brutality is a problem and we should highlight it. And Jerry Jones says what he says, right? You a rookie. You ain't got your feet wet. You can be gone tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Would you kneel? Yeah. Knowing If you're on the Cowboys, knowing that you might lose yeah. the money to take care of your yeah, family. Yeah, because I believe... Oh, you mean after him saying, if you kneel, then I'm... If you kneel, you out of here. No, I wouldn't kneel. Because you got to take care of your family, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, if he didn't didn't say... Right, right, that's what you still do it. But I'm saying after he says that. The owner comes out and says that. Because you wouldn't do that at a a regular job. They tell you, well, you're not supposed to do that at a regular job. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. But this is not a regular regular job. So why you and it depends on what you're fighting for, right? Some shit, some people fight for, some shit people nah, won't fight for. Nah, what about so, you? So hold on. Go so ahead, so my ahead, thing ahead, is, my thing is, me not, me not um, kneeling, but in the back of my head, I'm still thinking, okay, I need an exit plan. So I need to make sure I get as much as I can to get up out of here type shit. It wouldn't be no straight. I wouldn't be doing it without a plan. I, I get what you're saying. You get what I'm saying? If you go to do it, you better have a backup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to have I get what you're saying. Got to. Because if you don't, then you back to... You Square one. Oh, you done worked it for. <laughs> Cutting up pie.